Hello! Welcome to the Home Button. I'm your host, Matt Clink, and joining me this week is Emilio. Konnichiwa. You're not Japanese. And Nate. Hello. And this week we're going to talk about a little company you might have heard of. There's so little I'm going to talk like this for the whole thing. A little company called uh, Bethesda. They little, have little, little company. company. Little indie. Tiny indie little. Dev. I haven't. I didn't hear of them before some big news about E3. Uh, so we're going to talk about the recent um, Bethesda news, um, kind of what they talked about that they are going to have their own press conference at E3 and what that might yeah. mean um, for them. And their Bethesda is owned under the Zenimax umbrella, so that means we will m- maybe also hear from the Arcane Studio um, and some other studios that are under that umbrella. So. Mm-hmm. What do you guys think about them? I think it's going to be like an hour-long show, you know, like the usual publishers, EA, uh, uh, Ubisoft. Sorry. Huh? Nothing. Nothing. I, uh, Good? I, yes, sorry, sorry, sorry. I, um, I had opened the video by accident, so then I was hearing myself, and I was like, what is happening now? Sorry, continue. Okay, so yeah, it's going to be an hour-long show. At least I think it will be, like the other... Uh, E3 press conferences before the show floor opens. And they're going to showcase a few things that I'm just going to take a guess on right now. And because it's Bethesda Softworks, because they're also a publisher, uh, I feel like they're probably going to talk about Elder Scrolls Online and how it's going to become free to play. And they're probably going to announce their first expansion, I think. I think that's... Pretty safe bet. Okay. Um, Rage 2. Rage 2. I I was going to get to that, actually. Really? You think <laughs> okay. so? I, I think they're going to announce Dishonored 2. I think so, too. Oh, I yes, think, I would I love think they Dishonored. will announce Dishonored 2. Dishonored is one of my favorite games of all time. It is great. Dishonored? Um, Dishonored. Dishonored. Um, I also think that they will announce Rage 2. Um, let's see. Are, do you think they'll do anything with Doom? No. Um, wait, have they, have they, yeah, because it, 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 it's been announced that they're, I think they're going to finally, uh, uh, like, showcase Doom to the public. Yeah, actually, you know, I, I, yeah, because all we've seen is that, that trailer, right? Doom 4 slash Doom reboot, whatever it, it, it is, you know? Yeah. I think that's going to get showcased. And after all that's said and done, the lights are going to dim. Todd Howard is going to take the stage. Todd Howard. He's going to say two words. Fallout 4. And then <laughs> leave the and stage. Then, and then he's going to leave and that's it. That's it. That's the show. <laughs> There's not going to be any footage or anything. You know, I don't think... hear, or, or, or no, no. Here's what's going to happen. Lights are going to dim. Todd Howard's going to start walking on the stage and all you're going to hear is, I don't want to set the world. And then he's going to walk off the stage. <laughs> so, yeah, I think they're going to tease Fallout 4. And they're not going to... I'd be surprised if they have, like, a trailer, like a gameplay trailer. Because I don't think it's coming out anytime soon. I, I think have the complete it's, opposite I think, opinion. I think, it's, I, th- I think it's going to be released in 2017. It, you are so far it, wrong, you can't be less wrong. Really? In my opinion. Yeah. You think so. I'm like it can't be, okay. pretty sure. Matt. What? It can't okay, so it can't be a fallout game without having a tease. Like it's sure. like every fallout game has had a has had a teaser. You can look at them all. They're all very, very similar. They follow a very certain uh like uh, formula. Mm-hmm. Like the Alias dead. Taking this techno sound. We just can't hear you, Emilio. We, we've we've lost him. Oh. Hello. Hey, Nate. Hey, I can hear you now. You're. Yeah, I know. I was, can you hear me fine? Mm, yeah. 
it, it's it's hey, in and out. Well, no, yeah. Well, then just keep talking. Okay. Um. Yeah. I don't know what else. I there. I I don't think they're gonna announce another Elder Scrolls. They're gonna focus on their uh free to play Elder Scrolls Online. Uh, cause that's been kind of a train wreck, and they want to do kind of damage control with that. So they're making it free to play and. They're going to have, like, a paid expansion to get everybody hyped up again. Um, so, I really, really, really doubt that they're going to announce Elder Scrolls 6 or Skyrim 2 or whatever the hell that the next Elder Scrolls game they're making. But, like, open-world RPGs, like the ones that Bethesda makes, take a lot of time. So I really, yeah, they really haven't really, made a game since Skyrim. Where do you think they've been? <laughs> making Fallout 4, and yeah. that takes forever and a half. It's been a while. It, when did? How long has it been? A long time. Yeah, three or four years. That's pretty. Oh, long. Oh, oh, okay. Well, since, since Skyrim. Fallout. No, oh, since oh, Skyrim. Okay. Since Skyrim, which is the most... it's the same team that makes the Elder Scrolls and and Fallout, I believe. Yeah. Um, so, like. I I, don't I, I think it takes longer than three or four years to make a Fallout game. I think they like could a title Fallout game. I think they could literally walk on stage and be like, or like, all right. So I see it going to one of two ways. One way is that like the way you described it, where they announce all these other like, so they announced the second like Bethesda's lesser Zenimax's other studios, right? Like not yeah. Bethesda's main things, where they go through and they're like, okay, here's the add-ons for Elder Scrolls Online because it's whatever. Here's I guess Rage Two or whatever that studio would produce, and here's I'd be happy Honor Two because um, it'd be using it. It finally start using id tech. Yeah, that's true. Um, I like id tech. It's pretty. I'm wondering if what they're going to do with Machine Games, who just made the new Wolfenstein, if they're going to be like, we're working on another one, or like if they just won't say anything because that one just came out. They might not it answer. just came out. I'd yeah, be surprised if they out. announced be, something. Yeah, I'd be surprised if they said anything, but they could just be like... I'm sure they're working on a sequel. Yeah, they... But that game I don't think received. it's ready to announce. Yeah, Because Wolfenstein, this this Wolfenstein, the new one, the, the new order, did, it did really well, and it was critically acclaimed. Yeah. So I'd be surprised if they're not working on anything but a uh, sequel to it. Yes. New I new IP? Um uh, in games? No, I don't or from any of these studios. What was what is Battle Cry Studios in Austin, Texas? Um were they making they weren't making that game called Battle Cry, right? No, that's two K, is it? Yeah, so I don't know what Battle Cry they also have Battle Cry Studios and I don't know what that is. I don't, I don't All, know what, uh, what I was trying to say, can you guys hear me fine? Yeah. yeah. What I was trying to say about Fallout is it can't be a Fallout announcement without having the formulaic uh, teaser that Fallout's always had. D yeah. Describe to me this teaser. Um... Uh, you can look at, like, all the old Fallout teasers, and they all kind of start with some sort of, like, opening on some, you know, like, like Fallout 2's teaser is, like, in, like, in an old 50s TV ad, and it pans yeah. out, and there's a Brotherhood of Steel guy that turns... You know, Fallout 3's teaser is somebody or is backing out of that bus, and then there's a Brotherhood of Steel guy who returns. Like, like it's it's got to be like that kind of thing. Like that's what people are gonna go nuts over. I don't see any gameplay being shown. Yeah. Um, yeah. No. I do. I do definitely see like at the end of them saying like, um, fa like I, I think it would be like kind of a like, like if they're if this is their first like thing that they're doing like this at E3. I think it would be worthwhile for them if they have if they don't have anything to show at least to be like and uh, look f like look forward to like next year like 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 what they did with the Master Chief Collection like uh, Master Chief will be returning to you know in 2015 or whatever like do something like that with uh, Elder Scrolls just to get the Elder Scrolls boners kind of chubbed a little you know yeah, mm, sure. yeah I, I, like, I, you know the the Elder Scrolls will return you know I, I think. They're putting all of their workforce, or all of their thoughts, in the Elder Scrolls division in online to kind of do damage control, like I said. Yeah, Elder Scrolls. It, 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 it tanked. It didn't do well. It, it was a failure as an MMO. It, and everybody was like, it's going to be the WoW killer. No, 
It, it's, it's not, not free nothing to play. will be. It's not going to be free to play, right? It's going to be... No, no, no it, 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 you that. have to pay the $60, but that's it. There's no There's subscription. No, yeah, so, so it's... It's just a it's just a retail game. Like yes, but I think they're coming out with an addition or something that. Oh is yeah, great. you can you can get like you can pay a subscription for like bonus every month. That's the one thing I was reading. Hmm. Um, so like you can like be ahead of the game and get like you know like items if you pay money. So it's just and like, like uh, it's just a retail pay? pay to play pay to not pay to win but free yeah it's a it's a retail free to play game. Like, it's a weird model. Like, it's a model I haven't really seen, and I don't know if I agree with it. Well, yeah. didn't TF2 kind of do that? It was uh, TF2, before? T- t- well, TF2 became free once items became a thing, really. Mm. Um, um, but I think I think when they end it, if they do... So the one of two ways thing. So if they do whatever, if they go through all those studios that aren't whatever, that isn't actually Bethesda, right? Um that isn't like their main Bethesda studio that makes you know Oblivion and all that and all that shit and just fall out. I think so. They go they go through all of that and then at the end they do the teaser or whatever. But I think they have a date and I think it hits before Christmas. I think they are like, no, boom, what's up? It's before Christmas and you're gonna come to E3 and you're gonna oh wait this is at E3. Uh, so it's gonna be at Christmas and like then they're gonna do their little they're gonna do a very short tour at the at like maybe some cons and world people will get to play it and I think it comes before Christmas this year. And or they're gonna be like it's playable on the show floor now. <laughs> no I way. Don't, I think it's I think it comes out definitely like before midway through twenty sixteen. Like I think Um Yeah, no, I agree. Uh didn't wasn't You're getting your hopes up. I Fallout, don't like Fallout, Fallout really, really so <laughs> and so did New Vegas. I'm pretty sure. It's just it's been like so long between their last thing and this thing. I think it comes out like I don't know. I can't, anything, I can't see later than 2016. That's crazy talk. If if it does get if it does get announced for by the end of 2015, it will get delayed. I bet that is my call. If it gets announced by the end of 2015, by the time it comes out, it's gonna get delayed. I think they are gonna aim. I think they aim for a 2015 holiday season. I oh think my god! I, d- I I know I know at least three people that are like I'm buying a PS4 as soon as that gets announced. You know, people who aren't big PC gamers. They're like, yeah. I'm, you know, I'm yeah. buying a. Nate, oh. all right. And he's gone. Um. And now I'm right here. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. I just stopped talking. Okay. okay. Um. Yeah, like it. It oh, wasn't oh. that long ago where I I I think. Todd Howard said, like, he, he was asked about Fallout 4, and he was like, yeah, we're nowhere near close to even announcing anything of the sort. And it, I, I feel like it wasn't that long ago that I heard this. So that's why I'm so skeptical that it, it, it's going to come out this year or next year. That's why I'm saying 2017. I, I, I'm, I'm calling you that right now. I'm going to be Man, All it's right. forever archived on the internet. 2017 Fallout 4. Well, I mean, that's what that's... we thought about last week's podcast. <laughs> <laughs> this is listen. This is within like 30 minutes. It should be good. Google, maybe. <laughs> Google. Um, we should I, do a little mini Skyrim, ending at half an hour and then continue on. Skyrim came out November 11, 2011. Yep. That's that's four years ago. That's yeah, but they, they also worked on Skyrim content for more than a year. Yeah, but that's... I'm, I'm sure it wasn't the full team. The... I'm yeah. all, like, it never it never is. But... Yeah, I I would be... When, when did Dragonborn come out? The last expansion. I have no idea. Uh, 2012. It came out the year we graduated high school. I pretty, or, well, you and I graduated high school, Nate. I'm pretty sure. Was it? No, I remember watching a trailer for it in Bankus, and Morgan was, like, jizzing over it. No, you're right. No, you're right. Okay, well, it still could have been 2012. Um, Bankus was the uh, dorm that me and Niels lived in freshman year. Yeah. What is it? Oh, but the second crazy way I think the thing could go. I don't think it'll go this way because if they do in our press conference, I think you're right. They're going to want to tease all their different things that they're probably because, like, the thing is, 
like Dishonored came out in 2012. I don't know. Like that's even sooner, and they're probably who worked on Dishonored. Arcane. Arcane. Yeah, uh, oh, what, what are they doing? Have they announced anything? Have they no, done anything since? No, that's why Dishonored Two is probably a lock for that studio. Yeah. Or like, or it, it's gotta be. IP, it, but Dishonored Two, or Dishonored did too well, I think, for them to let that go. Yeah, I remember. I remember the excitement. Uh, so. So it came out it uh for 368 came out December 4th 2012 but it was pushed for Windows till February February so. <laughs> Robot Emilio February yeah. Um, oh, the second crazy way that I don't think is really going to happen, but it would be nuts if it did. If they like, what if they start the press conference and they show the teaser trailer, but then they're like, "Just kidding." Forty minutes of Fallout footage. They won't do that. <laughs> but that would be ridiculous. Whatever. Right? Whatever. If Fallout it was just like forty minutes of them doing cool shit in Fallout, and people just losing their minds for forty minutes. Yeah. What, whatever. Literally they, losing their minds. The, whatever. The, happens, like, they they would win E3 most likely. Yeah. Whatever happens with Fallout, they're going to show it at the end of the at the end of the presentation. It's going to be their one more yeah, thing. It's going to save the best for last. If it's not, I, if I, it's... I truly think that they will do something Fallout esque, and I think they're going to announce Fallout Four. Do you, oh, can yeah. you imagine? Can you imagine the disappointment? But nothing else. If nothing, can you imagine the disappointment if Fallout doesn't get announced? If it, it would be a shame <laughs> on Bethesda. It, it, it would be a shame on Bethesda if they yeah. didn't fucking their first press conference that they didn't do the thing that everyone is expecting them to do. Um, and also, if if that if Fallout isn't their one more thing, and if they have a one more thing, their one more thing has to be Elder Scrolls or a new IP. Yeah. 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 Um, it, it, it's one of the three. Yeah. I would love to see a new IP from them because they have been fucking blazing it. I'm all about it. <laughs> I think I, we're going to see game like Alpha... Alpha gameplay of Dishonored 2. I think we're gonna get like I, a good ten oh minutes my of that. God, I, yeah, I, I want to see that running on new machines, dude. When I think of like, do you guys have like seminal games? This might turn what, what this turns into, and some of, some of it could be Bethesda related. But like, when I think of like seminal games, like for me personally, it's like for like Sonic was like literally the first thing I played, but that's also bullshit. Like I don't, I have no love for Sonic, but so it's like Sonic, Bioshock, Chili Dogs. Um, what? <laughs> So- Sonic eats chili. Gabe dogs. is here. Gabe is here in spirit. <laughs> oh, but like Dishonored now is like when I think of that, like I still think of that game as being like that was like for me that was like a game where like I had no, I had no buts about it. Like oh, it's a great game, but you know what I mean. Like I was just like yes, mm-hmm. it was like mm, that was oh, so it was good. solid through and through. Never it finished it. Right. Why? What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 it's it's me you're talking to. I I don't finish games. I'm pretty bad with that. But... I, I'll, I'll play the shit out of it for hours upon hours and burn myself out, and is then this... not play it again. Um. Yeah. We, no, we'll no. agree that it. I I think like I. You're gonna hate me. Like I'm on like the last fucking level. I think. That's really weird. The yeah. end of that game, I mean, the end of that game doesn't like, make I, I, I did everything, yeah. like, peacefully. Like, I didn't kill, like, yes. anybody. So, we could talk about the end of that game really quick. Spoiler, because I also did very peaceful and, like, I... Only no, I didn't leave. finish it. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't, the end of the I, game I don't care. Is I don't like, care. I'm joking. Maybe the one... Yeah, okay. So, maybe, like, the butt of that game would be the very end sequence where, like... The thing is, though, I didn't have, like, a weird experience. Like, a lot of people could have had weird, shitty experiences with it where, like, the bad dude at the end of the thing, like, you go into his room and he's, like, having this monologue. And so, like, I was outside the door listening to him talking. And then I did the thing where I stealthed on over. Like, I just, like, booped right next to him, right? And I snapped his neck. strike him? Yeah. And, like, game over. Matt wins. And it's like, you beat Dishonored. So I heard a guy monologue and then I... And then I peacefully killed him and took the little girl. So, also, are the, you saying the that you're unsatisfied with the ending? It That's was your like, <laughs> it wasn't like the thing is. It like also well like the, I didn't think the story was that strong. Like the double cross thing, like midway through, wasn't that great. Yeah, like I knew that was gonna happen. Yeah, like, like, like I didn't trust the, anyone. Yes, that was the thing. Like I kind of the way I reasoned the story was like. There was so much storytelling, like, in the world, and also, like, 
like you could do so many weird different side things like ex through exploring the levels. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, did you guys ever kill the dude who was in the basement? I fucking killed everyone. Okay, or like, no, did you like I didn't, fight? I didn't the, kill anybody. There was like this guy in the basement that was that was a torturer. He tortured people of this one level. Do you guys? Did you guys ever do this? I, I he was remember like, that. I don't remember. Okay. Okay. I so I don't remember. The the, like, the one level that stands out to me that I remember really vividly is the level where, like, it's the three women. It's the masquerade party. Oh yeah, that was. Oh, awesome. and it's, that it's, was it's, awesome. it's 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 the three women, the sisters. That's in black, red, and white. Yes, that, that was. Also was very good. Such a good level, like level yeah. design, top notch. Yeah. It, so the thing was with that dude in the basement, it wasn't like that wasn't the point of the levels and go kill this guy in the basement. It was like you're exploring this level and like you, you know how there were the notes or audio recordings. I can't remember which it was, but probably both. Maybe I don't remember. Um, yeah. I'm bad at this. Notes or audio recordings, one of them. And it was talking about uh, he like the son of this witch. You guys remember like the white eyed witch crazy lady. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. So like, it was this weird bastard child of that like not like a bastard, but like literally a bastard child of like this witch lady was like torturing these people in the base in the bottom of one of these levels, and like, it was just like like you could go seek him out through like listening to the things and like figure out like oh wait I think I passed a door that looks like that so like I went back and went down there and like found him and he was like torturing dudes. And then, like, I killed him, and it was only because I was listening to the audio logs and stuff, and, like, so, like, I had, like, this visceral feeling, because it was, like, all these really in-depth, creepy things about him, how, the ways he tortures people, and then, like, you go down there, and he's like, holy shit, he's doing it, he's doing it, and, like, that's not, like, it, that's not even the point of the level, and it was just so cool. Yeah. Was, like, Everything re tied together really yeah. well. They did, there was not, like, any, like, weird loose ends or, that like, world, just... That world felt... Well developed, yeah. I yes. Was, yeah. Um. What, what was it called? What was the place you were at called? That's oh, a good Dun, whale Dun, town. Dun, 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 Dunloose. Dunwall. 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 That's it. Yeah. Dun Dunloose was the castle I went to this weekend. <laughs> oh, look at me! I'm Emilio. I'm in Ireland. I go to castles. <laughs> Tough in the morning to you. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, that yeah, that was a terrible accent. And uh, by the that way, uh, by the way, everyone in my apartment's on Skype dates tonight, so it's uh, it's the bedroom for me. It's the bed. nice. <laughs> it it puts um, the pillows you're, on. You're my Skype date. You know? Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that. Uh, <laughs> going back to Bethesda. Bethesda though. Yes. I, I like Rage. I'm going to say that. Mm. I thought it was good. I liked what I watched you play of Rage. Yeah. Rage. Rage. I watched you play Rage for... Rage. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I thought... I, I played it on the Xbox 360. This is before I had a PC. It was pretty. Oh, yeah. man, was that world pretty. And... I think that's probably, like, maybe besides Halo 4, the prettiest game I've played on the Xbox 360. I'm, like, a, not even... A Dude, Bethesda. Bulletstorm. <laughs> what? What? Shut up. He said Bulletstorm. I said, I said, I said Bulletstorm. I'm not even, like, I feel weird. Like, I am excited <laughs> for this to see what they do because it's a company that's so talked about and, like, it's a big company and I, I like, like, the, I like witnessing those games, but, like, I don't play a lot of open-world things. That's not generally my jam, um, just because I, I fall out of love very quickly if it's not, like, a linear thing, you know? You, you um, want that tight narrative. You, you want to yeah. know where you want you have to go. Yeah, and, Wait, like, it has to be a very... Fallout? And no, you like Dishonored. Yeah, Dis well, Dishonored is, like, pretty... Dishonored has so many choices. Are you yeah, kidding? Yeah, but I loved it. <laughs> but, <laughs> so that's confusing for me because you so like linear so shit. So, so it like, sounds like you don't like linear like, shit. It just sounds like you like what you like. <laughs> Maybe I don't know. Like a lot of open world games are just that's like, a complicated like, human being, Emilio. Well, like, you can 
in Dishonored, it's like you, all right, go to the next mission, and then you go to this new place, and like you can go wherever in that level, but it's still a contained. You know what I mean? Where like it still felt linear to me. I yeah, guess. just it, like it, Fallout, where you can go wherever the fuck you want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's not, but you have to, like... I, I understand where Matt's coming from. You had a specific mission, but how you did that, like, yeah, but how you did that mission varied so greatly. Yes. Yeah, and I love that, but that's that's the thing about open world games is, like, I very much was just, like, I fuck around in the world for a little bit, and then I'm like, should I go to the story, or should I, like, do more in this open world, and, like, I get very, like distracted, and, like, then I'm just like, ah, I don't know what I'm doing in this game, and then I put it down. And, like, so the world has to be super fun for me to, like, stick around and play it. Like, I really, like, that's why I like Far Cry, is because it's just so fun, you know? But generally, oh, but I'm excited to... That's what games are about, dude. Yeah. Fun? fun. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> Stupid. Um, but I'm, I want to see the Fallout thing, because I just want to see their new thing. Like, I, I just, I don't know, I want to... I like seeing those games, but I don't... You know what I mean? Does that make I just, sense? I I can't I've never pick... played a Fallout, so... I think I, I might pick up Fallout 4 and start uh, I, there. I can't even picture how good this game's gonna fucking look. Like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, ah! it's, I think it's... I it's don't know. going to look how... It's going to look as good as Skyrim looked in 2011. Yeah. Think yeah. about it from that kind of perspective. Seems Skyrim like looked good. banging yeah. four years ago. Skyrim is, is still Skyrim is still, still looks banging. Yeah. Like in vanilla mode, but the amount of mods, that's it, that's really what I'm excited about. Uh Oh, that's true. Mods. It, oh, with Fallout guys, 4. Oh, Cuz yeah. Bethesda has always Fallout. been open with that shit. Is Fallout Haven't those games been on PC or am I a liar? I don't know. Yes. I haven't played them. Okay. I mean, Fallout 3 was uh originally for games for Windows Live which was an abortion of a DRM system. But uh, they just recently, I think, last year, kind of uh, ported it over to Steam. Yeah, I lost wrong all on my that saves. Meals. I lost all my saves. Yeah, so they're going to go the Steam route. Uh, and I feel like there's going to be like workshop integrated into that kind of thing. Yeah, uh, like workshop, work, workshop integration works with Skyrim, yeah. I've seen it. It's so easy to get mods on Skyrim now. Mm-hmm. Um, Not all of them. Some of them you have to jump through some hoops. Yeah, uh, GTA 4 is a, a good example of an old game that can may, be made to look incredible with mods. Oh my god, don't even get me started on how many mods I'm going to put on like GTA 5 when it comes out. Uh, yeah. In a month. Yeah, wait a little bit. Nah. I'm gonna fuck around as much as possible. <laughs> well, enjoy enjoy your bricked copy of GTA V. Did Software. Someone, weren't they <laughs> able to, like... Uh, wasn't someone able to, like... Uh, blah, 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 words... Uh, yeah, yeah that, dude, I love when they did that. That was fucking tight. <laughs> Shut up. They were able to mod uh, like GTA 4 good enough to look just like it was just to like almost look like GTA 5 when it was on. Ice console. Enhancer. Ice Enhancer. I, I actually installed yeah. it over the summer. Yeah. Yeah. The guy who was doing that quit because the community was toxic. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah. I, I so he, he released Ice Enhancer 3.0, and he was like, "I'm done." He's like, "Yeah, peace out, you fucking un ungrateful fucks." Yeah. It, 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 the the community apparently the the modding community for Grand Theft Auto 5, whatever which one he was a part of, it was just bad. He was treated horribly. But can you? So can, he, he was just like, "I'm not just I'm." Just I mean, not let's just there. imagine the people who are grabbing for uh, GTA mods on PC at this point in the game. They're probably the deepest of internet nerds, right? And, like, we're deep, like, we're into some nerdy shit. We play MOBAs, and, like, we host a fucking Speak for video yourself. game show. <laughs> we, we host a video game show and, like, make video games, some of us. But, like, you know what I mean. There's there's a different breed of person that is modding GTA 4 uh, how many years later? Right? Like, when did it come out? 2007? Yeah, Eight? so, like, almost, like, 
a long ass time, like mm -hmm. seven years. So like, but... I don't know. and it was not easy to mod Grand Theft Auto 4 because of games for Windows Live. Do you exactly. guys, do you guys think there's gonna be any DLC for e Evil Within announced? True, that's Bethesda. Yeah. Yeah. I who, think so. Who yeah. I, I, I didn't I I, I forgot about DLC. that. Because I heard that's I heard their most like recent game, right? Uh yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 I I, I think there will be some DLC released. Yeah, I mean that game's still probably, probably going to announce it. It's still relevant a yeah. little bit. I I mean the, it, a DLC pack will bring it back into relevance as well. And True. all the people that own it that liked it will be like, "Oh, fuck yeah, I'll pick that up." John Luke will enjoy that. Yeah, that game I know was he cool. Liked it. That was a cool game. Mm, so. Not for me. Not no. Oh yeah, if I, that's because it's spooky. It's too spooky. Too spoop, <laughs> three spooky five me. Yes. Two spoops, three furious. Um. Yeah. I I don't know. I'm 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 really really banking on a Fallout announcement of any sort. I th I don't think that's unreasonable to say that that's gonna happen. Yeah. What else has Bethesda published recently? Um, here, let me pull up my list I had here. Sure. Um, uh, I got Elder Scrolls, Fallout, Rage, Dishonored, Doom, Evil Within, and Wolfenstein. Uh, not much else. Uh, yeah, I'm almost positive they're going to showcase Doom to the public. Uh, oh, do you remember Wet? Do you remember the game Wet? Oh, I do yeah, remember I do the remember game that. Wet. Uh, uh, Brink? Oh, they did Brink, but Brink is now... Uh, the company who made Brink is now making that free... Whatever it is. Um, is now making the free-to-play online shooter on PC. Uh, and, so. and honestly, if they... If, if, if Bethesda came out and said, Fallout 4 is getting announced, or Fallout 4 is coming out, but uh, we're, yeah, we're, we're publishing it, um, and Obsidian's developing it, I... I be freaking, I don't know. What did you just completely chop? No, it I didn't want that to happen. Can you hear me now? Yes. yes. I was saying if they came out and announced Fallout uh, Fallout 4 and said that Obsidian was developing it, I think I'd be fine with that. Mm -hmm. Ooh, what um, because... Oh, you, you know what I remembered uh, yesterday, Matt? Remember yes. how on the home button we were talking about uh, Dead Island 2? And yes. uh, if, like, John Luke asked me if I was looking forward to that, and I was like, yeah, if it's anything like Dead Island, then yeah. Or or if it's anything like Dying Light, then yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I learned that uh, Techland uh, is not making Dead Island 2. Uh, it is sense. being developed by Jaeger. Do you remember Jaeger. what Jaeger has made? No idea. Spec Ops The Line. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, is so, that the game with the terrible story? Or the really good story? It's the Batman? really, really good story. Mediocre, like, gameplay. Yeah. Third-person army so shooter mans. The lie. But really, really, really good story. That was such a random game. It was a really random game, but, like, it's a cult classic. Yeah. That was such, it's, like... It's weird that there are, like, cult classic games. I don't know. But, uh... Yeah, I think it's so, just so random because it was I'm, called. I'm Second. more excited for Dead Island now. It had the title that made you think there was going to be more than one made, and um, and like it wasn't a game that seemed to ever like it was even gonna be serialized. So like it's weird that they literally called it Spec Ops: The Line and not just like Spec Ops. <laughs> do you think? Do you think Is Spec Ops like trademark? Do you think? Wow. I can know, I? Also... Can I? I'm gonna pose a question here. Shoot. Prey two got canceled, right? It did. That was that was Arcane that was doing that. They also did Dishonored. Was it? Maybe. Did they? Yeah. Do you wanna uh, fact check that, Matt? I'm uh, looking right now. They didn't do Prey one, but I just collected. But you think they were? Well, Prey one was that game. With I think Arcane. All right, hold on. Wait. Native I, I just... American. I think. I just, it was I the main just, character. I didn't play it, but all I know from Prey 2 was that its trailer was kick-ass, and it made me excited to play the game. Developer was Human Head Studios. Um, no idea who they are. Human Head, uh, Old Games Rune, Blair Witch, Dead Man's Hands, 
uh, Prey, Fort Courage, Batman, Orkham Origins for the Wii U. <laughs> uh, oh, wait a minute. This is the company that's making that weird MOBA shooter on the PC called Minimum. Uh, it's that game where it's just block people fighting in a block place that has a lot of MOBA elements about Does it. Does it have blocks? Okay, so yes. I just clicked on I just clicked on Arcane Studios. I opened Can them confirm. up. Yeah. Um, so yeah, Human Head is probably not. Yeah. Our Arcane was slated to develop Prey 2. Yeah, Prey okay. 2 has I I think officially been canceled. A, like I think like half a year ago it was like it was in development hell and they finally announced like half a year ago that it's like, yeah. Yeah, because I think Human Head was making it, and then they were like, no, we'll take it to this other studio that can do it, because from what I saw, Human Head, Human Head is a very small studio, and they have made a bunch of smaller games or ports, and now they're making that small PC game. Uh, yeah. At minimum. All, uh, I knew, all I knew is that's that was one of, one of the few trailers that made me excited to play a game. It was like, you're... you're it was such a good trailer. You, you guys should watch it. It's like I forgot. You're this, it. Like you're, you're you're this bounty hunter and you have this target. It, it's like your Bo- your Boba Fett, but like that's cool. Not in armor, and like you're 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 hunting your target and like it's this big chase scene and there's parkour and it's fucking sweet. You have this gun and like towards the end you you're like face to face with this huge monster and then like close up of the main character he like grins pray to. I played Prey One. That game sucked dick. I didn't really? play it. I don't know. It was terrible. It was. Like, I'm pretty Prey, sure it was a lot. The, the like, Prey Two was sweet. So. Well, Prey One was a pretty early release for 360, if I remember correctly. But yeah. Guys, upcoming deal on Amazon. If you want to get a PlayStation TV, which was called the Vita TV in Japan, it is forty dollars. Wow. Sign me up. Yeah, yeah, I can't wait for somebody to look back on this in five years and be like, man, on this day in history, that was on sale. <laughs> well, no, I just mean, like, <laughs> no one... I even, I guess I'm not surprised. Bethesda. He just did. Oh, yeah, sorry, Bethesda. Yeah. No, but, but like, uh, but do you think Prey 2 was canceled for development on Dishonored 2? Um, Ar- you think probably. You're you're thinking that Dishonored two kind of cannibalized Prey two? Yeah, because that because Arcane did Dishonored. It could very well have. Yeah, yeah, it was probably they their main the game, and then they it. said, "Oh, can you guys split some people to work did. on this?" Or did... Prey two might have like, no, I was gonna say Prey two might have turned into Dishonored two, but that's not no. that's not the case. I, I almost no. said I almost said <laughs> Arcane's a small developer. No. With, with only 150 employees. Only. That's, yeah, I mean, that's, like, small compared to huge companies, but, like, it's, like, small <laughs> okay, compared it's not, to it's not like Ubisoft. It's not, it's, not like, it's not, like, four people who were originally making No Man's Sky. <laughs> but, yeah. I'd be surprised uh, if No Man's Sky wasn't showcased at E3. That's, like, an average to medium size. I'd be surprised, if, I'd be surprised if we didn't see any, uh... Any No Man's Sky at, at PAX, honestly. Oh, shit, PAX, less than a month away. I know. PAX oh, yeah, coverage so... brought to you by the home button coming up. Are we doing that? Are we doing yeah. stuff at yeah, PAX? We're, we're, yeah, we're interviewing, we're going to interview some uh, indie devs and stuff. Awesome. I'm in. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to get, we're going to wear ties and be, be all professional. Sign and Matt, it's going to be, Matt, you're going to GDC. Yes, I am. We'll we'll have a podcast the uh, that week after. We'll talk. I about still it think you should take another... my idea, Matt. Make what? a shirt. Uh, have a QR code just on the front. Oh, on the front, and have people scan. It, it, it's just like your website, and on the back of it, it's just like hire me. <laughs> just like a big one, hey guys. Just walking you're around. Just like a... hand. You're, you're, you're just a walking just a... advertisement for yourself. I do have to get my business cards. I was thinking about putting like, a QR wait, wait, wait. card, but not that many people like have that stupid app anymore. Because like, when do you use a QR code anymore? I don't know. You don't really. Yeah. So like, the I only was, time I, I ever could... download a QR code app is when I see a QR code that I'm genuinely interested in. Yeah. So I don't think I, I was <laughs> keep one on my phone. On there. Uh, yeah, I was thinking of put, putting that on there, and then I was like, eh, that could just look ugly, and they'll be like, why? I'm not gonna do that. I I, I see the URL. It's not, it's not short enough. 
or, or it's not long enough to, you know, yeah, warrant that. So I think we should call it at a short one this week because yes, I think we all expressed our interests in Bethesda pretty thoroughly. Yeah, and now we're talking about Matt's QR codes at GDC. Yes. And our plans for packs. I think that will be so a long Matt, podcast, though. That one will, um, because we'll have to talk about too, all the packs, and we'll have yeah. to talk about all of. I'll have to dispense GDC butts. We're actually going to have to do that one on a Wednesday too, because I will be leaving for packs on Thursday. Blowing yeah. up on a Wednesday? No, I mean like, uh, GDC is like is Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So like we'll have to do it like the following week after packs. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll do uh we'll, we'll do our thoughts our thoughts on the cons. Mhm. Yeah. And uh, we're gonna do um yeah like I said we're gonna do some coverage there. We haven't really figured out exactly what we're gonna do, but so keep it locked on the home button. Yeah, keep it locked on the home button. Featured this week at the Champlain Black Market. <laughs> oh man. Swag. Go Champlain Black Market where you can buy bongs. <laughs> That's um or hey, or used tobacco, or used water pipes. What? Right. Um so yeah, okay. I'm excited for what Bethesda may or may not show. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm I've never been a huge Bethesda fan, but this has yeah. me legitimately excited because there, yeah. it's another press conference and I always love those. So absolutely yeah. shaking in my fanboy pants. So <laughs> I just want to show I like the imagery. <laughs> I wonder what they're gonna do with Dishonored. Do you think they'll stay in the same like same story or just like completely different things? We you shall know, find out in four Three months. Mu- four months. Oh boy, I'm excited. Alright, all right. Matt. Bring us home. I'm gonna bring you all home. Um so thank but, you for what what? You said I'm gonna bring you all home, so I said button. Um, Shut up. That was a bad one. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Good, Emilio's crying. That's perfect. Um, uh, so thank you for watching us this week on the home button. If you're watching this and haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, literally, how did you find us? Uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, follow us on Twitter at home button cast and uh, like us on. Oh, also our Twitch is at home button cast and our Facebook is home button official as well as. Um, Something about the Champlain Black Market said a very laggy Emilio. Um, yes. <laughs> like I said, those places. <laughs> and join us next week where we'll be discussing something. Yeah. And uh, just a quick shout out. Uh, thank you, Tyler Killer, again, for making a song for us a long time ago. Yeah. yeah. Even though That's... we use a different. Oh, you know who I am supposed to thank? Not him on this. <laughs> Because we don't use this song on this. We yeah. use a song uh, by a man called, uh, or an artist called Life Formed. He did the uh, music for Dust Fall, and he has some really cool stuff that you should check out. So check out his thing, and thank you for letting us use your song, Mr. Life Formed. And I remembered your name, but now I don't. But thank you very much. You can yeah, follow us each at our respective Twitter oh, handles right here. Nate Lubetsky, see that? There's him. And I'll click on Emilio, at Emilio Fornatora. And then me, at Matt underscore click. I already clicked off of you. All right, that's great. (laughs) All right, guys, thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. I love you guys. guys.